Hey and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to discuss unit testing and integration tests as well as UI tests and the benefits so what's the point of testing your code? Well when you're building your apps you need to make sure that your code actually works now what you could do is you could test your whole app manually every time but when you make this change this would actually come with a few issues so let's say for example if you to make a change within your application not only is this time consuming because you're actually going to have to spend a lot of time retesting every single journey and every workflow and whatnot, it's also possible to miss some case paths as well that you want to test and you can't easily just see how changes affect the existing code. So we can solve some of these common problems with tests and tests allow us to make sure that we can actually save time by automating our work and making sure that it's correct. We can also have confidence in our code by making sure that we haven't broken existing code and we can provide documentation since we now have a source of truth for our business logic. So when you actually write tests, there's actually three types of tests that you could write and that is a unit test or unit testing, there's integration tests or integration testings and also UI testing as well. So what's the difference between them? Well unit tests, this is usually a small piece of business logic within your app so what do i mean by this so let's say we look at our you know our view model that we've been working on in the past couple of videos we actually have some properties in there for telling us whether our view is loading and is fetching and whatnot this is business logic that we wrote specifically within our application so business logic is just basically a small part of like some kind of object now you have integration testing and integration tests actually combine different unit test modules in to see how they work together into a larger test. So an example of this is where we actually have our validation object and our create view model. They actually both interact with one another. So when we write an integration test, we want to make sure that our validation is actually working properly before we try to create a user. And the final test that we have is our UI test. And this is usually the testing of the UI within our app. So with the UI testing, we're able to test our flows as well. So a good example of this is when we're fetching data from you know, our service, are our buttons disabled? So these are the different types of tests that we can have within our app. So in order to actually write these tests, we can actually use an XC test. So what does this mean? Well, the XCT framework actually comes with something called asserts. And when you write a unit test, you actually need to assert a value. So what does it mean? Well, in a nutshell, when you assert a value, what you're essentially doing is checking to see if the outcome matches what you've provided. So in this example that I've got on the screen here, we're actually asserting to see if the number is even or not. So if it's true or false, it will actually depend on whether the unit test passes or fails. So in the upcoming videos in this course, we'll take a look at these different types of tests and how we can actually write them to help make our code more reliable. So that's everything in this video. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Also, as well, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel and hit notification bell to get updates for whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you in a bit. Deuces.